Hi, welcome back. In this video, I will discuss the introduction part of artificial neural network. In the coming videos, I will discuss the different concepts of artificial neural network in detail. Artificial neural network is an information processing model similar to the human brain. That is the way the human brain processes the information. Similarly, the artificial neural network processes the information. But uh, the artificial neural network cannot uh, do the functionalities, all the functionalities of uh, brain because uh, brain is a very complex uh, nervous system. It does a lot of computation and those computations cannot be replicated in an artificial neural network. But still we can do uh, most of the functions what brain does in artificial neural network. An artificial neural network uh, is composed of a large number of uh, highly interconnected uh, processing units. Those processing units are called as uh, neurons. Those uh, neurons are connected so that uh, we can solve a particular problem. Like a human being, for example, uh, the human being learn a particular concept or anything by experience for example initially with some examples he may learn or he may get some knowledge but as and when he has been shown with more number of examples the human being will learn or get more knowledge similar to that one as and when you go on giving more and more number of example to artificial neural network it will go on getting more and more knowledge in this case or it will learn more and more an artificial neural network is configured uh, for a specific application or uh, to solve a particular problem that is uh, to solve a spam classification, face recognition, pattern recognition or similar to such kind of uh, any application. That is uh, you cannot solve all the problems using one artificial neural network. A particular artificial neural network can solve one problem at a time. That is the one more very important part uh, we need to remember. But brain is uh, uh, brain works in such a way that it, it will try to solve or it will solve every problem over here. Each neuron is uh, connected with other uh, neuron with a connection link. Uh, in artificial neural network, as I said earlier, each computation unit is called as a neuron and uh, the network contain multiple number of uh, neurons they are connected with one another that connection uh, is done with a link and uh, each and every link is associated with a particular weight uh, whenever we give an uh, signal to that particular neuron a neuron that input signal and the weight will be transferred to the next uh, neuron with the help of this particular link in this case uh, this information that is the weight whatever we have assigned to that particular link or what is whatever it is learned by that particular artificial neural network is used to solve a particular problem in this case. The artificial neural network is uh, characterized uh, by their ability to learn, recall and generalize the training patterns or the data similar to the human brain. The way human brain works with the same note the artificial neural network work like they will learn and then they recall and generalize the training pattern over here uh, they have the capability to model the networks of uh, original neurons as found in the brain that's the reason these artificial neural networks uh, are called as the processing units of artificial neural networks are called as the neurons that are, are also called as the artificial neurons in this case each neuron has an uh, internal state of its own. Uh, as I said earlier, there will be multiple number of neurons in ANN. Each of them have their own internal state. That internal state is called as the activation level. That activation level is uh, transmitted to other neurons with the help of uh, the link in this case. Uh, we will take a very simple example to understand the simple uh, artificial neural network. In this artificial neural network, we have uh, two layers. Uh, the first one is called as uh, the input layer and there is another layer called as the output layer. These are the minimum two layers every artificial neural network has. In the uh, input layer, we have two neurons that is uh, denoted by X1 and X2 and uh, Y is the output neuron in this case. That is the output layer has one neuron and input layer has two neurons. The totally we have three neurons in this particular network. This x1 and x2 are the inputs to this particular neuron 
and y is the output of this particular output neuron as i said earlier each of these neurons are connected with a link in this case uh, x1 and y is connected with this link x2 and y is connected with this link and each and every link is associated with some weight initially we have assigned some random weight to each and every link and uh, we perform some computation here and finally we will get this particular output once we get this particular output or uh, once the termination condition is satisfied whatever the weight we have assigned to these two w1 and w2 that is the final one otherwise uh, if 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 this uh, termination condition is not satisfied we have to go back and modify these particular weights in this case so to modify these particular weights we have some different algorithms like uh, gradient descent back propagation and so on so we have to apply and uh, update these particular weights in this case now what kind of computation takes place in each and every neuron is uh, for example at this particular neuron y the two kind of things uh, takes place or every neuron does these two things that is uh, it performs uh, something called as a summation and then it performs something called as uh, act, it will apply something called as activation function over here on the top of that particular summation that is summation is nothing but uh, sum of uh, product of input and weight here that is nothing but uh, you can say that y in is equal to x1 pl w1 plus x2 w2 in this case that is x1 is input w1 is the weight x2 is the input w2 is the weight in this case now this is the first thing performed at this particular output layer and then once you get this particular y in we need to perform something called as or we need to apply something called as activation function so once you apply this particular activation function on the top of y in we will get the output here as i said earlier uh, if you uh, reach this particular termination condition these are the final weights otherwise we have to go back and modify this particular weights unless and until we reach the termination condition here and one more very important thing is this uh, activation function is uh, uh, not fixed one based on our requirement we can apply some different uh, activation functions like uh, uh, step function sine function sigmoid relu and so on there were a lot of uh, activation functions are there based on our requirement we need to apply this particular sigmoid uh, this uh, activation function on the top of this particular summation term so that we can get the output here one uh, uh, once you get the output uh, you you can use this particular thing for making the a decision like uh, whether we have to terminate uh, this particular thing or we need to go and update this particular weights here so in this video i have explained uh, what is artificial neural network what are the components of uh, artificial neural network and uh, how a simple artificial neural network works over here i hope the concept is clear if you like the video do like and share with your friends press the subscribe button for more videos press the bell icon for regular updates thank you for watching